Just a little tip here. I'm about to fit the suspension on my low cone now and um, to get the spring retainers in the correct position with your holes in your suspension brackets what I've done, I've, I've not drilled my holes to start with to the dimensions it says in the in the book I've left those blank I've got my holes drilled ready in my axle boxes there and I've made this little transfer tool that will sit in my axle box the correct diameter to sit in my axle box the correct length for me to be able to mark it with a point on it and I'm just slipping that into the axle box like that make sure it's seated square and then I'm just pushing the axle box up to the suspension bracket like that and then just give it a little tap with hammer that's one done then move over to the next one make sure it's sitting square that's it that way you're ensuring that your suspension pins are going to be exactly lined up in those holes like that look because you don't want them binding so by doing that you get an, an exact measurement then then you can remove the bracket I don't know if you can see that on camera. You can just see my punch marks there. And then I'm going to drill those now. And then they'll be exactly in line for my suspension. Yeah, I'm calling them suspension pins. And then you put your springs over the top like that. Right, I've now drilled the suspension brackets for my pins. I've made the pins <coughs> out of mild steel <coughs> and you've just got to make sure your pins slide freely in those holes before you put your springs on. And remember what I said in one of my past videos, make sure you mark all your relevant items up for each opening of your wheels like this this one's R3, rear number three. So just make sure that the pins that you've made slide in the holes okay. Then when you've got your springs cut or if you're buying them ready made, make sure you just grind a flat on the springs. And when you've done that, make sure that your springs fit nicely over the uh, retaining pins without binding any slight binding is going to affect your suspension isn't it and once you've got your springs fitted on your pins um, well before you put your springs on put them into your axle box first and I've made these just a half a thou tapping fit just so that they don't so that they retain properly Then you can put your springs on.
then it's just a matter of get, getting this back into own guides and threading your pins through. Then you can get your keeper plate screwed back onto the bottom. Anyway, thanks for watching and if you've not seen my other videos, take a look at them and uh, if not, I'll catch you on my next little part of my loco build. Thanks for watching, bye for now.